everybody and welcome to a new video. Now Barbie has been through a lot of changes. Trust me, I know. I've been through all of them. We've had different fashions, hairstyles, beauty in diversity. Barbie has such a huge range of diversity. It's incredible to see. We've got curvy, tall, petite, has brought such a diverse range of looks and options. This has been a game changer for Barbie and I love it. Barbie is ever evolving and that's what I love about this line. It's great to look at the future, but let's take a look at the past. So today's video is Barbie, a blast from the past. There's so many looks here. I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to unbox these girls. They've been in these boxes for a super long time. So let's give a round of applause and check these girls out. Woohoo! First up is Barbie as a snowflake in the Nutcracker, made in 1999, Collector Edition, Classic Ballet Series. Experience the enchantment of Tchaikovsky's beloved ballet, The Nutcracker, with Barbie doll as snowflake. When the Nutcracker Prince takes Clara to his magical kingdom, shimmering snowflakes come to life and dance in their honor. Barbie as Snowflake reflects the splendor of the dancing snow in her shimmering costume of soft satin and tulle. Her legs are designed so you can pose her in actual first through fifth ballet positions. The Classic Ballet series features classic ballet that come to life with Barbie. So this was the background of the box. I think it's really beautiful and I think I'm going to keep it for a craft. Also she comes with a certificate and a stand. It's blue. I've never seen stands like this before so it's kind of neat. So out of the box she's got this silver crown. It's got snowflakes on it that's so beautiful she's got these little curls here on the front her crown only comes up to the sides it doesn't go all the way around she's got um, these fake lashes they're pretty um, hard like they're not soft they're pretty thick She's also got these pearl earrings. Her hair is tied at the back with an elastic band. So this is like a little net that her hair is in. So you just take it off. So you can loosen up her curls like this. So her hair is a little fluffier here in the back. Her hairdo is really staying in place. There's a lot of product in there. It's very hard, um, but I can understand why, just because, you know, she's an elegant ballerina. These uh, arm pieces, the new ballerina Barbies don't have these anymore. They just sort of have the outfit. You know, growing up, I used to dance ballet myself a long time ago, and that actually brings back a lot of memories. I remember I used to love having these you just kind of felt really special so that's kind of neat there's a little bit of like glitter on them uh, the glitter's not coming off so that's pretty cool on her front of the uh, corset she's got sort of like a little flower here with the bow there's a lot of detail on the straps um, there's snowflake patterns all around. It's kind of, it's very sparkly. It comes all the way at the back. And there's two snaps here uh, to 
to take off at the top. There seems to be a little string holding it, so I guess you could take that off. I think it's there so that um, it stays on better. And then she's got the skirt. And I don't know if you can see here, there's a little string um, sewed to it. So I guess that's to hold the skirt in place. You could cut that and then this could easily come off. So this is like sort of the tutu. It's in layers. This is kind of like a satin, it feels like satin. Um, there's like sort of patterns and decorations on the skirt. She's got a couple layers um, to kind of give it that poof. That's so cute. Again, the glitter's actually on the skirt. It's coming off a little bit. Yeah, it's getting on my hands. is the Barbie ballet um, waistline it's very small but you've got some range of movement here her arms can also go this way and like this and like this so the ballet skirt can't really fit my regular dolls but this top can this is a regular size doll and it fits really well on her so you can use it as like a cute top I love the ballet shoes and how they're tied. It's so cute and her legs have a nice form to them. Love it. So I tested out her leg to see if it would stay in place, but you can kind of see it doesn't. There are a lot of poses that you can do with this doll, so that's great. This is 1998. Barbie as Marzipan in the Nutcracker Doll Collector's Edition Classic Ballet Series. It is in the second act when the prince escorts Clara into the Kingdom of Sweets where they are delighted by the exotic music and dances amidst a wonderful of candy canes and sugar plums. At last, Marzipan takes center stage, twirling and leaping gracefully to the music. Spellbound by her beauty and grace, Clara and the prince applaud as the lovely Marzipan takes her final bow. Out of the box, she comes with a stand, it's pink as well as a brush. Um, these brushes bring back a lot of memories, but I don't think I'll be using it for her because her hair is pretty much in place. She's got a lot of product in her hair. She's got these three curls. Everything's really in place. There's a flower in her hair. It's pretty much in place. I mean, this hair is not moving. It's got a lot of product, but I'm okay with it. I think it's a beautiful look to her. She's got these pearl earrings. Um, I just think she's just such a striking doll. She's got these lashes. Um, they're quite thick. Yeah, just a beautiful complexion. Beautiful. There's a lot of detail on her bodice. There's a rose and then you see here on the top the stitching. There's some frills. I mean, wow. And then the arm pieces have these little roses on each side. So just such beautiful, beautiful work. If you turn the doll around, she's got three snaps in the back. This ballerina has pink tights. She's got the same range of motion as the snowflake ballerina. So that's pretty neat. Unlike the snowflake ballerina, her shoes are made of like a fabric. Her long tutu skirt is so beautiful. I mean, look at those sparkles. It's not really going on my hands, so that's awesome. So pretty. Wow. 
So this is her without the tights and the shoes, so you can really get an idea of her leg shape. I mean, like, look at those pointed toes. I mean, that's some major detail. Wow. This is Barbie 2001, Princess of the Nile. Collector Edition, Falls of the World. Princess of the Nile Barbie doll portrays the splendor of ancient Egypt. Her dress of golden pleats is worn with a white pleated overdress. She wears jewelry inspired by ancient designs decorated with faux, turquoise, lapis, and carnelian. Her golden pectoral, a large necklace that is worn on the chest, supports a large medallion designed as a scarab, Egyptian sacred beetle. Atop her braided hair, she wears a beautiful crown adorned with a serpent ornament symbol of royal power and protection. Out of the box, she's got this background from her box. I think it's super cool. I'm probably gonna keep it for another craft. I think it's just the detail and the art is just fantastic. Maybe I could tape these flaps, but yeah, gorgeous. She also comes with a certificate as well as a doll stand. This one is white or like a cream. Really easy to put together. She also comes with a pair of yellow high-heeled shoes. Her crown comes easily off. As you can see, it's a serpent ornament. It's the symbol of royal and power and protection. I think I could use one of those. She has two gold bracelets on each arm with some very detailed Egyptian symbols. So this is her jewelry. It is inspired by ancient Egyptian designs. It's very detailed. It's very beautiful. It is attached to the white overdress. So, I mean, it's just amazing. Wow. You can see the designs go all the way up and down. It's got a lot of color, a lot of detail, like wow. I mean, I'm really impressed. And then you can see the scarab beetle um, in the circular medallion. It is a sacred beetle. These flaps go all the way down. There's a lot of Egyptian design on them. They are sort of attached to the golden dress. There are pleats in the golden dress. And then the over white dress also is very pleated. It's a really nice texture. I really love it. It flows quite nice over the golden dress. The back of the dress has a couple snaps. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I take the white over dress off. I wasn't expecting this. There's actually a dress underneath. Whoa. gorgeous dress you guys so in the back there's one snap she looks amazing I think this could fit some of my regular Barbies she is such a beautiful doll yes I was right it can totally fit my regular Barbies Oh, great princess of the Nile, I bow down to you. Honestly, I've never met a royal before. 
What's it like to be royal? Like, you've been in that box for like 19 years. What are your plans from here on? Travel? Start a new career? Start an Egyptian book club? I am going to, as you say, Barbie, I'm going to discover myself, not as Princess of the Nile, but just as me, wherever that takes me. Being in that box, I had a lot of time to think, and I think this will be perfect for me. I bet. I mean, I can't even imagine being in a box that long. Wait, I think I have. <laughs> All right, Princess of the Nile, the world is your oyster. Time to discover it, and you. Let's go. This is 1998 Barbie Avon Special Edition Winter Splendor. This doll is very striking. I mean, look at her. I love the red, I love the dress, I love the box. I mean, the presentation's really beautiful. I love the background in the box. It's just, wow. So out of the box, she comes with a black brush as well as a black stand, and it says Winter Splendor on the front. It also comes with a pair of black high heels. It wasn't that hard to get her on the stand. I thought it might be an issue because her skirt is so fitted, but it worked great. Her hair is very elegant. It's got this nice updo with these curls. It's a beautiful arrangement. I absolutely love it. She's got this bright red ribbon that goes all around her hair. There's a snap at the back that kind of holds it together. It's really easy to open it. There's a bow. She's got soft bangs and there's a lot of product in those curls. Got these really nice earrings. They're green and red and a little bit of gold. So she's got these really nice gloves. They're very soft. And then these arm pieces are very quite hard. Um, and then there's the bodice. So the skirt is in folds on the side like this. And then it's very fitted to shape her body. I think that's really beautiful. The black bodice of the back has a couple snaps. So the arm pieces are separate pieces. This is the black bodice. So unlike the ballerinas, she doesn't have a lot of movement. So there you go, guys. That should give you a really good idea of all the pieces of her outfit. She has a really small waist, so the skirt probably won't fit my regular Barbies, but the uh, top piece will and the arm sleeves and possibly the gloves. So Barbie, talk about Hollywood glam to the max. You are looking fine, girl. I am loving your hair, mm, makeup, and the whole outfit. I mean, you nailed it, girl. You look like you're ready to go to the Oscars or the Met Gala or something. Thanks for reminding me, Barbie. I don't want to be late. See ya. Uh, any chance I can get an invite? Aren't suits glamorous too? <sighs> I gotta up my game. This is 1999 Barbie as Beauty from the Fairy Tale Beauty and the Beast Collector Edition. There once was a young girl who was so lovely that everyone called her beauty. 
When her wealthy father wanted to bring her an expensive gift, she asked for only a rose. Soon he discovered a beautiful rose in a mysterious garden. That rose shall cost you your life, shouted an ugly beast. When the man begged for forgiveness, the beast agreed to let him go in exchange for the life of his daughter. Beauty expected the beast to kill her at once, but instead they became dear friends. Then one day he grew very ill. Oh dear beast, do not die, cried Beauty. I love you with all my heart. Instantly the beast turned back into a handsome prince. Your love has released me from a spell of ugliness. And soon they were married and lived happily ever after, based on the classic fairy tale. This fairy tale series seems to have other dolls that you can collect. So I like the Cinderella and Snow White, um, but if you want and you're interested, there's a number on the bottom of each picture. It's really cool with the story. this background. She comes with a doll stand. It's yellow. It's really easy to put together. She comes with some yellow high-heeled shoes. The two front side curls are very, very curly. It's a tight curl. It's very soft. There's not really any product, but the back is very boxed hair so I would have to kind of comb this out a little fluff it up because it's pretty flat but the side curls are like in perfect condition she's got gold earrings she's got a headband and then a little flower at the top so that's two pieces on her head The sleeves are very puffy, there's a lot of lace, a lot of detail, I mean it's beautiful, the nice bodice, it's a two-piece, it's separate from the skirt, it looks like a dress but it's two-piece. She is wearing a gold ring. And then you've got this nice mesh see-through it's sparkly and then underneath there's no uh, tool or layers it's just one layer side there's these beautiful bows On the back there's a couple snaps to take off the bodice a snap to take off the skirt her body is the snap and bend body the small waist thank you for joining me for Barbie a blast from the past I think these girls did amazing super glamour I mean you don't see dolls like this nowadays as glamorous so sometimes it's really fun to go in the past to see all the glamour of Barbie. I mean, how gorgeous are they? I really love the modern day fashion. I love the super casual look. I love the suits. I love how Barbie's modern, but I also really love to look back and look at all the glamour. I'm so glad you guys joined us today to take a look at these amazing ladies. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. See you guys in my next video.